Welcome to the Sacred Sexuality Project. My name is Mark Weppet, and I'm here to help you live a higher expression of your sexuality. And today what we're going to be looking at is the Magician Archetype. Uh, if you haven't been watching, uh, I've been doing videos on the mature masculine archetypes. And the way that these work is that we form this picture that we can use to diagnose you know, what we're lacking in our life as men. You know, what are the things that we are lacking that are keeping us from reaching our true potential? Last week, we looked at the warrior archetype. This week, we're looking at the magician. So in order to figure out what the core energy is of the magician, just let's look at what the magician does, like in a traditional sense. A magician, they, you know, perform tricks and illusions that seem impossible. They seem like it's magic. And that's kind of what's at the heart of the magician. It's doing the impossible. And the way that the magician does this is, you know, it's not really magic. He just understands things on a deeper level. And that's what it's all about. It's all about learning how to get down to this deeper level of understanding where you see solutions that otherwise would be hidden from you. So, for example, think about computers, you know, you can just press a couple of buttons and in a few seconds you can be looking at all the funny pictures and videos of cats that you want. And to the people that don't understand how computers work, this seems like magic. And what this is, really, it's the product of many people throughout, uh, you know, a number of years working together in a committed way, harnessing this magician energy to understand computers and build them up and make, essentially, create something that allows us to do things that before computers were essentially unthinkable. So in your own life, when you run into a problem that seems impossible, that you don't seem to know what to do about it, this is when you need the magician energy. This is when you need to dive deep to find your solutions. So I want to share a couple of quotes from Einstein with you guys. I think Einstein is an excellent uh, example or embodiment of the magician archetype. The first one is the quote that no problem can be solved from the same level of consciousness that created it. In this quote, Einstein is recognizing that a problem only exists when you're looking at it from a limited perspective. In order to achieve solutions, you need to manifest a mental shift within yourself. You need to move yourself to a different perspective so that you can see the, con the, the, the problem in the context of the bigger picture. And when you look at that, you're going to you know, find your solution too. The next quote from Einstein basically says the same thing. He says that if he had an hour to solve a problem, he'd spend 55 minutes of that hour thinking about the problem and then five minutes thinking about the solution. So what he's really saying here is that if you take the time to understand everything that you're dealing with, then actually solving the problem only takes you know a few seconds because it's just like, oh, well, I see this, 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 and oh, I just got to do that. But so often we find ourselves just trying to jump to the solution, just figure it out. You know, like if you have a problem on your computer, how many times are you just going to be, you know, trying all kinds of different things that you think are going to work instead of just like going online and searching like, you know, how to actually fix the problem in the first place. You know, it, we do that so much. We need to be able to understand the problem first and then the solution is going to come far more easily. So when we're looking at practical ways to actually manifest this magician energy, it usually comes down to study and experimentation. You know, you need to be able to learn from experts. You need to be able to learn from textbooks. You need to be able to go out and gather all kinds of knowledge. But at the same time, you can't be limited by that. You need to also take that knowledge and compare it to your own experiences. You know, if you've ever tried to uh, work on your fitness or your health, chances are you went online and you see all these different opinions on, you know, what the best way to train and eat is. And a lot of it's very conflicting. The only way you're ever going to really um, move yourself into a state where your, you know, health issues or your, you know, your health goals are met is by synthesizing all of that knowledge you gather with your own experiences of what actually works for you. Bruce Lee has a great quote about this very concept, and he says, Absorb what is useful, discard what is not, and add what is uniquely your own. So when you run into a block or a problem in your life, don't just keep, you know, banging your head against the wall trying to just force it to work or, you know, just running away and avoiding the problem entirely. You know, do some research, look, learn, dive deep, experiment, try things. You know, that's the only way that you're going to be able to reach your potential because 
all of your greatness almost always is on the other side of uncertainty. And the way that you handle that uncertainty is through harnessing this power of the magician. So that's it for The Magician. Next week, we've got The Lover. Make sure you like, subscribe, sign up for my newsletter in the link below, and stay clean.